Podcast, episode number 522. I'm your host, GBD, here in Long Island, New York. And as always, we're joined by a man who always podcasts in native 4K, Wombat. And HDR. Of course. Yes. So, yeah, both. I'm in such high resolution revolutions that it's amazing. You can see every pore of my face if you get close enough. Too close. Yes. When I'm in the room, it's like being in the room with me. Shipwreck. <laughs> so- yes. Something. Save I me, Shipwreck. Fear. Save me. <laughs> I have seen that Xbox One X exists, and it's there in stores. Yep. We're going to be talking about that a lot, I think, a little later in the show. Can't wait. I, I have experience with the mm-hmm. uh, with the One X. Xbox, Xbox, right? That's that's good. That works. Yes. Uh, we're gonna be talking about that. We're gonna talk about, I don't know, Star Wars Battlefront two, and I don't know a lot of stuff. A lot of good things to talk about this week. Sure. Uh, should we jump right into show feedback? Is there anything we need to discuss before that? I mean, you. Tell no, me. this is uh, just. What, I'm gonna read them both one after another. Rapid fire. Rapid fire. So King Rockin' LR had to say, when I heard Wombat say he wasn't interested in a Japan-focused Assassin's Creed, I thought this must be a new Wombat, as the Wombat I'm familiar with uh, with has mentioned no fewer than 10 times through the years how much he's enjoyed Jade Empire. Then mm-hmm. Dragoon Knight had to say, Jade Empire is based on China. It is not a game about Japan. China, Japan, Korea, come on. It's all the same, right? Who do you think you are? President? <laughs> right. I'm sure he doesn't know the difference. But... <laughs> they are, they Political. Are very, Political they are. cat cast. Oh, yes. There's going to be a lot more where that came from. <laughs> Just you wait. I think that's it. That was it for the show feedback? Well, I mo- there was a lot more about how much you hate Nintendo, and I didn't want right. to pile that on. Right. And there was a lot more about Halloween and, um, you know, how... I'm not the only parent that walks around with the kids and has a couple of drinks. So that was really it. I seem, I feel like you're cherry picking all the comments that make you look good. And I thought that was funny because that guy's clearly, you know, was looking for a reason to insult me. And, and I don't even know how that makes sense. I think that an, an Egyptian assassin's creed is sounds more interesting to me yet how could i possibly say that if i liked another game that took place in japan how does that make sense uh, it doesn't okay i'm not crazy right because i read we'll that talk, comment. remind me to talk about that assassin's creed game later i know i watched you play it this morning i will uh let me let me put that in the one accent when you when you got your head stuck up a camel's bum <laughs> In 4K. In 4K. 4K head camel bum. My head clipped right through the camel's ass. Like you could, and perfectly too. Like yes. his neck, like, you know, you could see his neck and mm-hmm. then his head was in the ass. Was there any loot in there? <laughs> no. <laughs> no loot in that chest? Brown loot. <laughs> right. okay. Let's, um, uh, we're all, I, I, I Watch we're this, bitches. Watch it. We're watching things. Wow, we're really getting through this stuff. Did anything happen to you in the last, since the last show, GB, that you wanted to talk about? Not really. I don't know. So say Ty's, so. Ty's, Ty's, Ty keeps forgetting his homework at school, mm. forgetting to bring the homework to school, or mm. forgetting to do it. And so we've had like a kind of a shitty afternoon because, you know, he dropped the bomb on me with, you know, you get like the no homework report from the, mm. from the teacher. And, you know, everybody's upset about it. Well, me and Ty are. Mr. Chibi doesn't know about it yet. But um, I don't know. It's just a bummer. And, like, he's going to wind up losing video games again. I don't know for how long. But I understand. Been there, 20, done that. 2018, probably. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So it sucks for everybody. And I don't know. I like to take a very hands-off approach with his homework. Like, I don't. I can count on one hand the number of times I've helped him with his homework through his mm-hmm. elementary school career. Sure. Um, and I don't check to see that he's done it. I just assume that he's on top of it and it's it's not working out. <laughs> so it's, 
No, we, it's a bummer. We definitely usually uh, we do the checking to make sure it's done, but I have at times watched Sabrina put a wrong answer and not corrected her. Right. Because I want her to know that she got it wrong, but I want her teacher to say, this is wrong. Because that's how you learn. <laughs> Yeah, of course. Yeah. I remember, like, my mom was very involved with my homework and stuff, and I, I, it's not really the the way to go. I think I think you want the kid to be independent. And to, I think there's uh, a mid, maybe a mid ground, at least that I find works. Right, but I, I I need him to implement the systems for checking his homework. I mean, I can help him implement those systems, but I don't want to be the guy going through his homework and checking it. Does he have a homework book though? Like yeah, exactly. Yeah. He needs to go through it and check it off when he does it, and he mm-hmm. wasn't doing that. Yeah. He's too. He's, you know, he just wants to go play video games. He wants to rush through it and play video games, and it's just it's no good. So that is not good. So we, I understand. We, cut, that. we already cut off the video games during the week, but it's I don't know. Something's not working. Does he we'll do? Is he on the FaceTiming thing? Because that's that's no, really, no. that's he doesn't. That's the big thing in my house. No, he doesn't have a phone or an iPad or anything, so he doesn't okay. he doesn't have any of that stuff, and he doesn't have time, quite frankly, for it. Mm-hmm. He's got a lot of he's got a lot of Japanese homework, um, and it you know between that and the American homework and the few uh, extracurricular activities that he has, he's he's busy. We had Japanese. we had our ping it's pong the Japanese lessons homework that's probably killing him. It's it's a lot. It's a yeah. lot of homework. It's like it's probably uh, like forty five minutes a day. And it's, you know, and then he's got to go to the school on Saturday. It's, it's tough, but mm-hmm. I don't know. It's important for him, I think. And he doesn't, he doesn't, he never complains about it, really. He just doesn't do well. The Japanese, Mrs. Chibi checks the Japanese. <laughs> the good news is like, I'm he, very far He doesn't removed. complain about it. He's just stopped doing it all together. Not, maybe, maybe, uh, maybe that's a sign. Maybe he needs, you know, like just a little bit more leisure time. Yeah, I get, I don't know. He's got time on the weekend at well after. Japanese. No, he doesn't because he has Japanese class. Well, after three o'clock on Saturday, the rest oh, of the that would, is yeah. I don't know if my kids could handle that. I don't know if I could handle that as a kid. It it is a lot, I know, but he can. He's smart and he can do it. He just needs to. Sort I don't of think it is. Himself. No one is saying that he's not smart. We I've met your son many times. I'm very well aware of how smart he is. You know what he said to me yesterday? We what were did driving. He say? Oh, this this will. I'm this exhausted. I have too much homework. Please help me. I'm drowning in this mess. <laughs> this will tie nicely into watch this pictures. Okay. So we went to see Thor Ragnarok. Mm-hmm. Uh, he had no he had no school on Tuesday. Sunday. The day is Sunday. <laughs> the tie does not have school. <laughs> he had the day off for there's like a conference for election day. School for election day. I don't, whatever he was off on Tuesday. We went That's to see Thor. Day. Yes, but it, it wasn't for that. It was for the school conference. Anyway, Mrs. Chibi also took the day off, so we had a nice family trip to the I see Thor in IMAX uh, 2D, which is how I like it. And I fi- we figured, you know, like I didn't I complain like a week or two ago. Like I don't really like going to the movies because just everybody bothers me in the theater. Like I just probably. I don't know. I, I, I like I'm not going to say no, but right. I yeah. feel like people aren't well behaved when they go to the movies, and I expect people just to be quiet and watch the movie. That's crazy, me, right? Mm-hmm. So, but I figure, look, we're going to see a Tuesday show at like like one o'clock in the afternoon. Like, how many people can really be there? So it wasn't that crowded, of course. But as we're walking into the theater, there's like a group of ten people. Walking in, and the kid that's like mentally challenged, it's like a group of mentally challenged kids and their supervisors. Okay, <laughs> and I'm just like, oh god. And as they're walking in, I hear them say, Okay, we're in row E, so you know, seats one through ten in row E. And I'm like, Fuck, we're in row F, fantastic, seat 10 in row F, beautiful, whatever. So <laughs> we're sitting down. The, the the trailers start and there's like a lot you know a lot of fucking trailers before the movie, and of course like one of the and they're like intense you know it's this intense action movies and stuff and one I forgot what the trailer was for, but one of the kids is already just freaking out, like wah, wah, wah. like you can't tell if he's crying or laughing I mean, or having a breakdown like you don't know what's going on but the kid is just like yelling loudly. 
And he, he, you know, continued to do that throughout the feature presentation as well. And then one of the women who was like working with the groups of kids thinks that it's like a great idea. And she was sitting right in in the row in front of me, like literally the seat in front of me. Mm -hmm. She spends the movie taking pictures of the movie screen. Why? I don't like, understand that. Shut up and don't take pictures. Yeah. Don't look at your phone during the movie. Pictures with a flash? No, but it doesn't matter because her whole screen lights up. Yeah. And she's I would have like said a, I would have said something to that lady, by the way. I just kicked her chair, but it didn't really matter because it was I don't know. It was a very sturdy chair. It wasn't. I mean, I had my own issues at my theater when I saw Thor. So. Oh, so this is how it ties in with Ty and if he's whatever, if he's smart or not. So we're leaving the theater. I mean, we're driving home and I was complaining about the woman with the phone and basically just the woman with the phone. Like I you could argue about whether it's appropriate to take mentally challenged kids to see action movies. I don't know what their particular afflictions were, but certainly it was annoying for the other people in the theater. But t- certainly taking a picture with taking pictures throughout the film with your phone is just bad behavior. So I was complaining about it in the car ride home. And Ty says, you know, Papa, you should really stop complaining and just let people live their life. You know, I know he's like, I noticed you complain a lot about people dri- <laughs> people's driving and going to the movies. You know, just let people live their life. I was like, well. that's That was he was getting ready to drop the I'm not doing my homework. Yeah, he's like, on you. he's like, you know, some some people, you just got to let people, you got to let them be themselves. Because right them now, live. with all the homework you're giving your son and all the schooling, he's a good six years away from living in a 1968 Volkswagen bus <laughs> with his with his new girlfriend flower cup and, right. a, and, a, and a golden retriever mix. So, yeah, so. <laughs> I sort of took that to heart. I'm trying to take that to heart, but that did annoy me. He's going to start selling uh, like little handmade, like uh, what are those, those perler beads. It's a perler bead, Mario. I get six bucks for each one, man. Why are you harshing me? <sighs> Don't harsh my mellow. Yeah. 